Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Engineering Textbook. In this video, we are going to discuss about the syllabus of semester 6 for Mechanical Engineering. We will cover all the subjects with its weightage of marks with percentage of theory and numerical for a particular subject and with the division of theory and practical sections. Before starting the video, let me clear one thing. This video is particularly for Mumbai University students, those who are in third year of their engineering. So let's start with the video. Syllabus of STEM 6. Let's see theory subjects. Machine Design MD, Turbo Machinery TM, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration HVACR, Automation and Artificial Intelligence AAI and the last one is department level optional course DLOC. There are total number of three optional courses. You have to select any one of these. Press tool design, tool engineering and metal forming technology. Let's see practical or laboratories consisting in semester 6th machine design md turbo machinery tm heating ventilation air conditioning and refrigeration hvacr measurement and automation and mini projects these are the practicals or laboratories you have in your semester 6. Now let's see the exam pattern for semester 6. For theory, the exam pattern is first is internal assessment. There are two internal assessment IA1 of 20 marks and IA2 for 20 marks. These are also known as our unit test, which is conducted in mid-sem. So, these marks are counted as the average for the end semester examination. The average of this mark is 20 marks. And the end semester examination is of 3 hours for 80 marks. So, therefore, the exam pattern for your theory subject is total number of 100 marks. 20 marks for internal assessment and end semester examination 80 marks. So the total number of marks is 100 marks. These are the theory subjects you have. Now let's see the practicals or VIVAs you have in your SEM 6 with their term work. First, machine design. Machine design has term work of 25 marks and oral or viva of 25 marks. Second is turbo machinery. Similarly, turbo machinery also have term work of 25 marks but it does not have viva or oral. Third is heating Ventilation, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration HVACR This also has term work of 25 marks and VIVA of 25 marks. Fourth is Measurement and Automation. This subject is connected with Automation and Artificial Intelligence which is in Theory section. So it also has term work of 25 marks and a oral of 25 marks. 
and the last is mini project which is common for all the semesters this also has 25 marks term work and 25 marks viva now let's see the subject overview our first subject is machine design so machine design consists of 10% theory and 90% of numerical and the machine design we need th these two books for studying first is design data book and second is design of machine element by V. B. Bhandari these two books are compulsion for this semester for this subject machine design our second subject is turbo machinery this also have theory of 40% and numerical of 60% in this subject the theory is quite simple and conceptual based and we need these two books textbook of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machinery by R.K. Rajput and fluid mechanics Fundamental and application of Eunice Sengel. These two books are needed for turbo machinery. Our next subject is heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. This subject has 20% of theory weightage and 80% of numerical weightage. And the books needed for this subject is Refrigeration and Air Conditioning by R.S. Khurmi Gupta and J.K. Gupta. And for, for solving numericals in this subject, we need Steam Table by R.S. Khurmi. Our next subject is Automation and Artificial Intelligence. This subject to have theory of 50% weightage and numerical of 50% weightage. So they are equally divided. And the books needed are Automation, Production System, Computer Integrated Manufacturing by M.P. Gruber and for Artificial Intelligence, Saroj Kaushik. So this subject consists of first three module of automation and second three module of artificial intelligence. So these two books are equally important. And the last subject is DLOC, Department Level Optional Course. So as we said, there are three different courses. You have to select any one of these three. First is press tool design, second is tool engineering and third is metal forming technology. So these three subjects have equally weightage of its theory and numerical. Press tool design have 80% of theory and 20% of numerical. Similarly, tool engineering also have 80% of theory and 20% of numerical and metal forming technology have also 80% of theory and 20% of numerical. Let's see the overview of the video by the given table. The table consists of number of subjects we have in our semester 6 with its internal assessment, exam duration, end semester examination, term works, practicals or VIVAs, and the total number of marks we get from the particular subject. So our first subject is machine design MD. It consists of 20 marks of internal assessment. This is the average of internal assessment 1 and internal assessment 2. Exam duration for machine design is of 3 hours. End semester examination for machine design is of 80 marks term work is of 25 marks equally 25 marks of practical or viva and the total we get 
150 marks. So 150 marks consist only for one subject that is machine design. Our second subject is turbo machinery. Equally, turbo machinery also have internal assessment of 20 marks, exam duration of 3 hours and end semester examination of 80 marks. And the term work is also of 25 marks. But the turbo machinery do not have practical and viva. So this subject is our internal subject. The total of turbo machinery we get 125. So 125 marks we get from one subject that is turbo machinery. Our next subject is heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration HVACR. 20 marks of internal assessment, 3 hours exam duration, 80 marks of end semester exam that is our theory paper, term work of 25 marks, 25 marks of practical and viva. So therefore, total we get 150 marks for HVAC. Our next subject is Automation and Artificial Intelligence. It also consists of the same 20 marks of internal assessment, exam duration of 3 hours, 80 marks of theory paper that is end semester examination. But it do not have term work, practical and viva. So therefore, the total marks we get is 100 marks. Department level optional courses. As I said before, there are three department level optional courses. Those three, we have to select any one from them. So it consists of 20 marks of internal assessment, 3 hours of our exam duration, 80 marks of our theory paper. Because it is department level optional course, so it is internal subject and it does not have term work practicals or vivas. So therefore total marks we get is 100 for DLOC. Now the measurement and automation is of practical section. This is a practical or laboratory section. So it did not have internal assessment, exam duration or end semester examination. It only consists of term work and practical both of 25 marks. Therefore, 50 marks total. This subject is interrelated to automation and artificial intelligence. Automation and artificial intelligence is the theory subject and measurement and control is the practical subject. So therefore, the total weightage of these two subjects that is 100 for theory and 50 for practical it consists of total number of 150 marks for automation artificial intelligence for theory and measurement and automation for practical. And lastly mini project which is common for all semester. So, because it is project based, it do not have internal assessment, exam duration or theory paper that is end semester examination. It only has term work and practical of 25 marks, 25 marks each. So, therefore, total number of 50 marks we have for our mini project. Now, let's see the total marks we have in this semester. We have 100 marks of internal assessment test for all the subjects. We have 400 marks of end semester examination of all subjects that is our theory paper. And we have 125 marks of term work, 100 marks of practical and viva, the total number is 725 marks consist of this same.
So this sum consists of total number of marks is 725 marks. You can take this screenshot of this table for your further future reference. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.